Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Mr. Tom. I'm with the Museum of Prayer Fire. For those of you that have been here before, you might recognize this space here. Uh, we're in our discovery room upstairs, uh, particularly our field biology section. Um, now, we're finding ourselves in some interesting times, let's say. So what we want to do for you, though, is, you know, since you may have found yourself you know, more or less stuck at home, uh, we still want to be able to offer your kids some uh, fun activities to do. Um, so what we want to do is each week we are going to give you a new sort of project that you can come up with and do with your kids. This week's focus is going to be on bees and pollination. And I thought that was pretty timely because we're just now starting to see some things coming into bloom. Um, and you might notice bees start flying around. Now, what do bees do in flowers? Well, they collect pollen and nectar. Um, they use it as an energy source for themselves. We like to think of bees as making honey for us. Uh, we do get honey for them, uh, from them rather, but they're actually producing honey for themselves, particularly to feed on over winter. But anyway, what we want to want you to do is we want you to follow along a guide that we're uh, letting you download uh, or just view for free of course and then we also want to supply you with a quick little project video so we can demonstrate a craft that we want you to do all right so I am going to zoom in a little closer in just a little bit and I'm going to show you the kinds of materials I have for you and then we'll get started okay so I've got my workspace set up here what I've got here is I've got uh, different colors of tissue paper. We've got some uh, pinks, uh, sort of a rosy color, yellow, light blue. I've also got pipe cleaner or fuzzy stick. This is a uh, Kool-Aid drink mix. And you can, use, you can use any kind of drink mix you want. Um, you can also use glitter, you can use Cheetos, basically. Um, you're looking for anything that can crumble up into uh, little pieces and you can sort of use as sprinkles for your added decoration for your flower. Um, I just happen to have Kool-Aid mix on me. Yeah, I might make some after I'm done with this. I've also got a bowl. A bowl you can put your mix in, again, whether it's Kool-Aid mix, crunched up Cheetos, whatever, anything you want to use. And optional, just for me, just because this is how I like to make my flowers, I've got a cup. I'm going to show you how to I use that. All right, so I am going to pick what colors that I want to use. You can use what any, whatever color you like, any combination you want, of course. It's all about having fun and experimenting, see what you like. But I'm going to pick, I think I'm going to pick this sort of a baby blue color to start off with. Okay. Just going to... Of course, you can use scissors if you want to be a little neater than me, but I'm just going to go ahead and tear some off here. Okay, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this cup to help me. So, if you walk around uh, to gardens or parks or even right out in your backyard, uh, you might have different kinds of flowers that are just starting to bloom. Um, maybe tulips, for example. What I'm going to do is I am just going to Stuff this down here. You might want to do it a completely different way. You might just want to lay it flat on the table and then cut out shapes, cut out flower petals. But I'm just going to go ahead and do it like this. Okay. And I want to add a little bit of yellow. One thing I like to do is photography. And when I when I am out photographing, I like to pay attention to which colors seem to match well together. Um, blues and oranges are nice, really contrasty colors. Also, yellow seems to work really well, too. Um, more so with purple, but again, blue is my favorite. All right, I'm going to crumple this up. I'm just going to uh, use a smaller part here. flower there. Now, take it out. Next, 
I'm going to take a pipe cleaner. Now, if you notice on the edges, ends of these pipe cleaners, it's kind of sharp. Okay, see that's the end of the wire there. So what you can do is you can just simply poke that through the bottom. All right, got that poked through. Now, just a word of caution here. Uh, well, one, if your pipe cleaner doesn't want to go through, you can use scissors um, or uh, any kind of pointy object. Now, obviously very important, uh, parents, you're the ones that probably should be doing this for your kids. Um, so just a little word of safety there, but see, I managed to get mine poked through. So now, I'm just gonna bend this. And this down, so I'm just pushing it down, kind of you can ball it up, or you can just lie it flat down, just like that. Okay, and so then you got kind of an anchor there. All right, and then just gonna triple that back up. Now again, you can make, you can uh, model any kind of flower you want: a uh, daisy, a rose, a tulip. Uh, to me, this is a really kind of a <laughs> Quick way to do it, but I do. I just kind of like the shapes you can come up with. It's almost like a kind of reminds me of a blue rose. All right, and there you go. Of course, you got your stem here and your flower, and you can make as many of these as you want. Uh, it's really fun, really kind of a fun indoor craft activity to do. To do lots of colors, try different color combinations. Um, and again, uh, really timely with this the time of year because spring, springtime, you're going to start seeing flowers come into bloom. You're going to see bees pollinating those flowers. So you have a guide that you can refer to. Make sure you read that guide and so you can learn a little bit more about what bees do uh, for pollination. Basically, pollination is when you take pollen and transfer it from one part of a flower to another. And in fact, that is what I have the Kool-Aid here for. It's kind of a sort of a yellowish drink mix. Uh, pollen is kind of a yellowish mauve uh, color. So what you can do, just to add on to this if you want, is you can have your kids sprinkle, you know, bits of, you know, drink mix on there or anything. It can be glitter, you know, any, any sort of craftsy, fun little thing like that. And of course you can glue it on there if you want. All right, well, I hope that was fun. Uh, watch out for more videos in the future, and I hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.